Big Ten Tournament Championship. Michigan in it for a second consecutive season. Madison Square Garden, Big Ten Championship game. We were playing our fourth day in a row, and Moe's in foul trouble. Rebound the back up, and in by Haas, and he was fouled. What are you going to do? Wagner out. John Teske in for Michigan. John had been up and down, mostly up his sophomore year. And you're going against the, the Darth Vader, you know, the big fella, big Haas. I mean, he's huge. And all of a sudden, he just, great in the first half, made some big buckets. Short jump shot made again. Who would have thought he would be their star early in this game? So you just be ready to go in there and do your job, really. I just had to go in there and be that spark for the offense. Second half had a huge dunk. Right in his grill. Are you kidding me, John Teske? Watching your teammates celebrate, it was a big moment for him, and I think it's propelled him forward. He realizes all that hard work does pay off. What he did this past summer was stay here the entire summer. So you have to do that 16 weeks. Eight weeks is voluntary. No coaches are around. You're doing it on your own with the strength coach. And that's commitment. The last year, my body wasn't ready. And part of two was just continue to develop my game um, offensively, defensively, and just keep working. Not just being an inside presence, but I'd be able to shoot the three. Teske from deep. One thing I worked on in the offseason a lot, just getting a lot of reps with threes up. And just being that presence out there on the floor. I think that he's still a work in progress there. He still is a guy that has a higher ceiling than he lets himself have. And that's the one thing that we're working through because he's very talented, but at the same time, he's such a good team player that he doesn't look to himself like that. John Teske's game has blossomed in his junior year. It's amazing when we'll go some games, we won't even drop a play for him, and those are his best games. Simpson searching and finding What a pass from Simpson to Teske. In the trend of college basketball today, a lot of times it just comes out to a two-man game and everybody else is on the peripheral. And when you get those two guys in the right space, um, they're really a very productive duo. Teske to the hole again. Nice dive by Xavier Simpson. I think that between the pick and pop, the pick and roll, they feel each other and one guy can get anywhere he wants with the ball and one guy is a huge target to throw to. Teske fouls it down from Xavier Simpson. Obviously in the same class in Ohio. Never really played them, but we'd always see each other. I think we first met, had, um, had some interaction. It was an all-star game. I think it was the Ohio versus Kentucky all-star game. And, I, and right then and there, I felt like we clicked. Nice slip pass, a little, and a smooth jumper uh, from Teske. Simpson, so clever. We feed off each other from our energy, from our defense. Um, we, we we take our matches personal. Um, we're greedy. Um, and on offense, we just have good continuity. He has great court vision, so he always knows where I am. Um, I kind of have a feel where he's going to go. If he's going to drive down the lane, I'll pop out. It's kind of hard to explain. He knows what to do at the right time. And John, he's a smart player like I am. I tell them all the time, don't worry about playing off me, let me play off you. So if you pop a roll, you just do it and I'll find a way to make it work. Check, check. One, two. From historic Williams Arena, where the Gophers look to add a marquee home win to their resume. Everybody here, everybody, everybody here. here. Energy from the jump, we know what we gotta do to win. Let's go do it. Together on three, one, two, three, together. together. They're ready, man. They're focused. They know this is the game at hand. They're not looking ahead.
number seven Michigan taking on unranked Minnesota. This would be a big win for the Golden Gophers. Big time Big Ten basketball is underway. Last time Lota Teske, layup is good. Bob in the short corner for Teske, kick out Poole. Long NBA range three, good. Michigan showing why they're ranked seventh. Charles Matthews working to the free throw line around and a slam dunk by Teske. Just a rough offensive night shooting the ball and it's hard to win when the ball doesn't go in. I think if the Gophers can get a couple to knock down, get on a little run, the roof could blow off this place. Cross court pass, Kalsher left wide open, three in the air, got it! Kalsher drains it. And now the crowd is trying to coax this Gopher defense into another stop. And there's a steal by McBrayer. And maybe Minnesota has a say in this yet. Teske out front, gives to Simpson. Xavier Simpson on the drive, lob to Teske, layup is good. And that stops the 7-0 run. It's a four on three, finds Oturo and a slam dunk. It's as close as it's been in a while. Xavier Simpson out front, gives to Teske, he'll launch a three. It's in and out and back in, wow, they got it to go. Hit a three every time the Gophers think they got something going. Here's Teske, another three. Tonight, he's got three triples. And Patino will call off the dogs here. The final 69-60. Michigan stays in first place in the Big Ten at 13-3. They will have a big one Sunday as well against Michigan State in Ann Arbor. We're a team that really loves big time games. We love going on the road and trying to get big time wins. We only have a couple games left, and you know whatever can happen in the postseason, just trying to stay with this team and play as many games as we can with this team and uh, enjoy everything in the moment. I feel like that's something that makes us special. See you, fella. It just felt like the weight of the world was on our shoulders, and we couldn't kind of get out of our own way. I don't think Michigan State ever was on our mind one minute. This is a tournament type of team. Minnesota will be. I assume they're going to get in the NCAA tournament. They're good enough to. We love the competition we have in Michigan State. That's, we're trying to win a championship. And to win a championship, you've got to beat Minnesota today.